What's up, YouTube? Uh, I've been getting a lot of requests, so here we are. We're looking at three different custom makers for the Air Jordan 1. And for this example, they're all Chicago. They are all size 11. And from our left side, we have Vibe Remake Lab. So I'll say like VRL through the uh, video. We got HVND in the middle and DB. So developer boring. So I'll just say DB, you know, and so on. So I'm not repeating long words um for starters we're just gonna say all three models all three of these models are great i su you know i would definitely suggest all three uh makers you could say for recreating the air jordan one um they do there's certain things i like about each of them um there are certain things that i favor but i wouldn't say this is bad or this isn't great or you know or this is awesome you know you're gonna hear a lot of that like this is really good detail wise so again there's certain things from each i there's nothing that you know is totally garbage there's nothing that's bad price points as you guys know for some of these models cost more than the other so you with your your buy remake lab they're around six hundred dollars which is definitely you know it's uh an investment i totally get it and hvnd Definitely uh, even more money. You know, this is premium. This is premium leather, premium build. This is actually handmade. So it kind of justifies itself with the price because they actually are handmade and it is a high quality shoe. Um, this is the closest material wise and build. This is the closest you're going to get to like the original. And then for DB, great price, nice materials. They're working on more stuff. If you watch my previous video and I'm, I'm very happy with these as well. Uh, so let's start from the top. We're going to look at the tongues. So if you look at the Vibe Remake Lab, the tongue is very much like the original. You got the little looser weave, as I say, in the stitching on the patch. And the nylon, it's not too, it's like a nylon finish, not too shiny, a little bit of a sheen to it. This has definitely got more of the OG finish look to it. There's no, no sheen to it on the tongue nice loose stitching it's their own brand so that's that's really really nice nice uh padding on it too it's a little thicker on the hvnd and this is more of your similar um you know a little more flat not as much of a sheen to it maybe a little less than this or a little more um but this is definitely your basic more retro you know tighter newer um newer design more re redefined uh but as you come down the toe box you can see the leather is really nice on these as we showed. It's supple. These have been worn, um, as I showed in the last video. Just so you guys can see, we'll just kind of, you know, move the leather where it creases really nicely. Moves great. The red's a little deeper. Uh, they did say that they used cherry for this one. This one is equally, because I, I did wear my black toes. At, um, I got the uh, Air Jordan wingless one from HVND. And the leather creased pretty much like this, where you don't even see the creases. It's just super smooth. Uh, it's a great toe box. Again, thick. This is the 84, not 1985. This is the 84 cut. And just look at that leather. That's that's the real deal. That's premium stuff right there. It's awesome, awesome leather. And then on your left side, the red panels, I definitely favor over the white. The white stiffers kind of got like a roll here. You can see these have been worn quite a bit. Um, it's not terrible it's not oh my god this is amazing leather the white panels are a little you know they're a little more stiff than the red the shadows that i have it's flipped so the gray is actually softer and the black feels more like the white so just a little recap on those three going down the line from top to bottom a little bit of the leather talk and next we're going to look at the heel all right so we're looking at the back view now and just to mention these are made in china uh, the tongue does say made in Korea, which is kind of just like a throwback to the original make. Um, it's something that uh, the makers, they did tell me something that, you know, the customers and different people that wanted this project to kick in. That's, you know, just the nostalgia of it and bring that back. Uh, these are actually made in the Republic of Korea, for real. And they got it right on the tag too as well. And as you know, Vibe Remake Lab, you can tell the tongue's thinner padding back here, uh, as we see, those are made in China as well. Um, height, this is, you know, higher cut. These are definitely higher cut. 
more of the STP, TY1. I'm not sure if they've actually deconstructed or how they're working on their shapes, but that's what it reminds me of. Uh, but yeah, nice little wider patch here. It's thinner. You can see the leather cuts, just amazing. They got the Widow's Peak they kind of line it up with. And this is a little thinner, maybe slightly thinner. Um, but the red feels good. The reds do feel good. Ankle padding, you can see it's very structured. Here, it's a little softer. And here's about, about the same. It's not bad. Like I mentioned in the previous video, maybe a little reinforcement would be good um, on, on the DB. But it looks good. I wore them. They didn't crunch. Uh, they look good. Midsoles, they got the Retro 85, you could say, on these and on the Vibe Remake Lab pair. These are taller as well. You guys can see it's more of the BY height cut, but the collar kind of reminds me because they did the, the BY factory and they did the TY1. So it, it looks kind of like the collar cut of the TY1. And these are, yeah, this is the... Um, what do you call it? The uh, PE, basically the mid cut PE that um, uh, HVND basically remade for nostalgic purposes um, that you haven't seen the real mid cut. So just really, really cool, really special. You can see it's definitely lower cut than the other two. Uh, yeah, leather again here. It looks nice. You can see the, the grains, you know, it's definitely there. It doesn't look bad. It looked really great next to the OG. We did in the previous video here is just raw cut thick feels amazing smell even these like the uh, the db like the leather it smells great like right out of the box and here yeah the red panels like i said pretty nice um yeah no complaints but yeah just to show you guys the little differences definitely higher cut swoosh here and a lot lower and this is much more similar to the uh, to the ADB with the Vibre Make Lab. All right, we'll keep the uh, HVND on the left and we're gonna do the VRL and the DB on the right. So VRL first, you can tell it's a higher cut. Um, the swoosh is cut like the 85 where you have the largest swoosh here for the 1984 PE. Uh, nice toe box, each, each has a nice toe box. This is just thinner cut like MJ's um, PE was. And you can see this just, you know, rides right off the corner here, it just rides lower than it does on the Vibe Remake Lab. And the leather panels, you know, on the side even, you can kind of see it's really stiff. And these have been worn quite a bit. You know, now let's, let's pan over here. You can just tell the grain is just that much nicer. And these haven't been worn yet, but you can just, you can just tell. Like we already looked at the toe box. Um, the leather cut on these is just, just awesome. They both have the um, oxidized midsoles. Get that vintage finish. You see that raw edge of the leather just riding up here. I just love that look. Um, on the uh, the Vibe Remake Lab, it's all pretty much red, which is fine too, because you know the OGs, like my OG Chicago's, are the same way. It just depends on the factory where they're made. Um, wings are pretty much similar, um, but now that we're speaking of that, we will pop in the DB versus the HVND, and you can see their toe box is riding lower. Wings is a little larger and heavier embossed. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. But yeah, it looks it looks good. Uh, might be able to take some of that sheen off even with my my hack video that you guys have, if you look back and see to de uh, deglossify <laughs> if that's a if that's a word um, for like the midsoles and stuff like I did on the uh, Cardinal Seven. Uh, but yeah, swoosh looks great. Leather nice and big compared to here. They just look really good. And the price difference between these two, you know, like we showed the leather here, it's day and night between the two. And like here, the leathers, it just, when I wore them once, you know, it just broke in nicely. It's really, really good. And it kind of reminds me of the STP, the way that this panel kind of goes off and kind of has that little indentation. Um, my black toes kind of look very similar to that. So it looks fine, you know. Um, I did talk about raising the swoosh. Uh, previously, uh, brand new, so you got the Retro 85, just brand new look, no oxidation, and uh, yeah, nice nice thick leather cut. You can see if you get, you know, really close on both both these toe boxes, you can see that it's got 
pretty thick leather cut. Maybe just a tad thicker than this is by Remake Lab. They're close, but just is this more, you know, a little softer leather that they used here. All right, we're going to move in and we'll see basically from here to here. You can see how we were talking about the wings. They're not really heavily embossed. They're about the same scale. It looks good. Nice straight heel, just like the BY Factory. Nice straight heel here. Lower cut, um, hence the, the true mid cut of the PE. The strap is awesome too. It's just really, it's really cool. I love, I love this shoe. I think they really did a, a beautiful job recreating that. And then we'll drop in the DB and larger wings. It was different large, um, smaller and large wings scales on the OGs as well, and as well as embossment. Uh, so there you go. This cut looks good below even the collar. It looks really good. Um, compared to like this, it's a little more narrow. I'm not crazy about it as much. I think this looks better. Penelope's trying to make a cameo. I'm not going to let it happen. Uh, but yeah, you can tell like the swoosh is definitely more elevated too when you look at the swoosh here because I was speaking about to where this could be elevated. And it's a little long. I think maybe if they tucked it back a little bit, then you can elevate it because you don't want it running into this little panel here where all the laces come. But yeah, definitely higher. Yeah, both look great. Just to show you guys again, the heels, different angle. And we'll check out the outsoles next. And right, well, we're looking at the outsoles, and on the bottom we have Vibe Remake Lab, and then we have DB, and then HVND. So the shades of red are very close on these two, um, and it's a little brighter red here. It's a little wider, kind of like the more modern retro. Doesn't have quite the the retro eighty five tooling. This is eighty four, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Uh, but yeah, it does look good still. Uh, it's very, very solid. This is a very solid sole. You can see I'm pushing it on it, and it's, you know, very solid rubber. Some people are asking about this, too. And here, you got a little give. It's not crazy soft, but it's it's got a little give on DB. And then on Vibe Remake Lab, they're a little less flat. If you guys watched the last video on the DBs, and they're definitely more firm. So the outsole is definitely more firm here. And also on... HVND. But yeah, your your traditional tooling, all the stars, your your tread, everything's kind of laid out the same. It's nothing nothing too significant to to mention other than the width and the color and the uh the, the rubber texture. Before we do an overall review and wrap, uh, I did want to just pull out the lost and founds. Uh decent leather, you know, the white panels have that that artificial like cracked look they did the collars again yes i wish that they would have done the retro 85 shape on these um but i guess it's more so of just like people dogging like this pair uh not everybody a lot of people loving it but some people are just like bashing it like it's garbage if there's a good product and i i like it and i think it looks good then hey i'm gonna speak highly of it you know i think this is great i mean what which got which one do you guys think looks better honestly it's like yeah this came officially from the brand but somebody's been working and they're tweaking and getting higher quality leather um better build just shape everything just looks much nicer i mean look at the heel let's just go back heel to heel here you had a nice straight heel you got that new look they could have done the retro 85 which is still not perfectly straight like this but they could have you know um but really like what looks better to you I think it's pretty obvious. I don't mind the cracked, you know, collar and all that too, but just some food for thought of people that are doing customs and it's kind of frowned upon, but if it looks good and the quality is good, I wore these for five hours right after the video actually, and they were super comfortable. So nothing, nothing bad to say about them, the way the leather creases and just a really nice shoe. And, um, you know, Jordan brand bringing us like a retro 85 every year. Um, I'd like to see more, but you can, you can just see, you know, the leather right here. Like it just looks like a nicer quality leather. It feels better than, than these white panels are when you look really close. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, to each their own, but it's like, you can't really bad mouth something if it actually is nicer. If somebody's got the passion to rec recreate something from 1985, 
when Jordan Brand could do it, and they've done the research for the Retro 85, which is, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a brick <laughs> when you have the technology and you did the uh, time and effort and not implement it into a release like this that was, you know, supposed to be boxed and, you know, have all these little details that, like, it was a shoe from 1985. So just, uh, just a little side note. All right, so that's a recap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've had quite a few people asking me to see a comparison between all the factories of the custom makers, stuff that I enjoy that I've been, you know, kind of into the last few years. And DB, the newest one, we have VRL in the center, and HVND. By far the superior. All three are great, you know, when it comes to leather and build. And these are actually handmade, like I mentioned earlier. Um, Really cool. I mean, there's something for everyone here, depending on your price point, and you're going to get a good quality shoe no matter what. Some things are nicer than others on certain shoes, like we kind of went over, but either way, I'd stand by, you know, all these products. Um, Retro 85s are great. I'm still going to, you know, I'm looking forward to the Burgundies. Um, definitely, you know, hopefully they keep improving the leather panels on those. I just got my low top in of the natural gray and they look they look really nice. They're um you know they're pretty it's a pretty solid retro, pretty nice leather. Um probably better than natural gray high, um the leather they actually use. So little improvements. It's not like this quality leather, obviously. Um, but they, they do look good. Uh so yeah, you guys uh don't forget to uh subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at OG or Bust, and we'll probably have that review of the Natural Gray up very soon.